back at the 97 Kawasaki Ninja Project battery supply all that so no spark still no spark so I tested my stator and the magneto here's what I found okay this sits in there like this this is your coil pickup or pickup coil basically what happens is is when the shaft is spinning around you have these little nubs here 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 that come into contact with that point right there which in turn sends a signal to the negative post which in turn gives you spark to test this you take your multimeter you stick both sides in one or you know black in one side red in the other side put it on continuity and you should have continuity between the two points I did not didn't have continuity here even stripped it up under the you know stripped it up under the piece of rubber right here the gasket see if I had continuity there if there was a break in the line somewhere no no continuity in the entire pickup so this is bad this is really hard to find I found a couple I'm sure there is a parts graveyard right up the road for me that I could go and steal one out of but as far as trying to find this online I have found two two for sale so, this is your magneto. This sits inside here. You see these, see these magnets right here. This is what in turn charges your battery while you're going down the road. Sends power to the rectifier. The rectifier in turn transforms it down into 12 volt charging your battery. Okay, works like a, works just like Just like that. So all that sits in there. Every time it rotates, you know, you get power. Okay? And you get intermittent signal, which in turn gives you spark. So I took the whole cover off. As you can see, I went ahead and sanded down the edge here with some, uh, what did I use? 250 grit. I went ahead and got all the uh, old gasket off. The gasket was pretty worn on there. And as you can see, there's gasket still around the edges of the bike that I need to get off. Oh, something interesting. Here's my switch. I get power on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. Yes, I know. Somebody could just steal my bike, but I'm going to hide that because, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I don't need a key. Who needs a key? So, your coil just sits in there like that. Tighten those two or those three bolts down, and you're good to go. So, this cover actually had some rust on it. So, once again, took the sandpaper and sander and went over it the best I could. I got to get something to get in these tight areas. But uh, I'm going to prime it and I'm going to paint it lime green. That's going to be the color scheme I'm going to go with this bike. As you can see, it was originally red and had the blue vinyl pin striping on it. But I'm going to go away from that and go paint everything black that I can paint black. And then a guy I work with actually does vinyl um, monogramming and stuff like that. I'm actually going to get him to do all of the uh, Kawasaki labels and Ninja labels. But I'm kind of going for the uh, cafe racer look. I'm not going to put all of the fairings back on there. Um, I just, I just don't. I, I don't want to do that. But anyway, back to no spark. 
I'm gonna have to go and get brand new stuff or use stuff that actually you know tones out but yep that's where I'm at right now once again this is my 97 Kawasaki Ninja project um, like I said I did go ahead and make a switch this is your uh, this is your ignition you want to stick it in the main big fat white one and the middle red and blue wire and it's just ran down to a simple switch went ahead and you know heat shrunk everything down and I'm planning on mounting it somewhere you know somewhere somewhere around in here where can't anybody see it but I know it's there well if you like my videos um, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe thank you